Okay, and then also tonight I saw Kenya talk about um, Jason Aldean and his song uh, and about the small town. And she basically was trying to make a point where she's saying, well, why is it that when all of these black people have a criticism of the song, now all, all these people support it when the song was out for all this time and they didn't support it? And I I will say this because it's because of the message of the song. And um, so she was making a point about, um, I think they were called sundown towns, which are basically towns where um, it was illegal, not really illegal, but like very unsafe for black people to travel to certain parts of um, the country just because like racism was really bad. And so like if a black person was out um, after sundown, the KKK would like come and, and kill them. Basically, that's the way that sundown towns work. So they made these like, black people made these like black, these literal black books that had like certain neighborhoods and addresses and phone numbers of like Americans, white Americans, black Americans, anyone who was like living in certain parts of the town who was like basically safe, who said like, I won't. I don't want to kill black people basically. And so like if you were traveling, you know, through the country, you would use that black book in order to like get around um to see like where is a, a safe place to go. And and to this day, a lot of people actually don't travel to a lot of parts of the United States. A lot of black people do not travel to a lot of parts of the United States because um those places are not on the black book. Like the black book and sundown towns were so prominent in black communities that like like people in my family have used black the black book um it like i think a lot of people think that a lot of shit that or how do you say a lot of um ways of living that came from jim crow specifically in america that they just went away or or died or something because there was no song or no like really prominent history course about it but some things like people are living them now you know like the remnants of redlining people are living that now like there are actual people who like don't own property in particular neighborhoods or and think about this an entire neighborhood that's all black simply because like the government made a law that only allowed black people to buy property in one particular neighborhood like but what jason aldean is saying let's go back to the song because i do want to like explain it what he's saying is that like how let's go okay so to put this into context jason aldean and probably and all of the other people in in nashville and tennessee that's where i am right now jason aldean is actually here too and candace owens and my really all the daily wire like tennessee is a pretty conservative place and I, I live here too i guess i'm pretty conservative not the point um but um like People pretty much like know each other here or know of each other. Like people, people know what's up, right? So it's not like, um, but there's shit that we're watching right now that I think a lot of you guys like aren't paying any attention to, or you're watching it and like nothing is changing. Like, first of all, all the shit that's going on in New York where there are buses of immigrants who are coming. And then remember, it's like all these liberal states are coming on and they're being like, we love immigrants. We love immigrants. Give us all your immigrants. And so we gave everyone gave them all the immigrants. But and now they're saying all these things. Oh my god, there's too many immigrants. Oh, we can't do anything with the immigrants. And then we saw what the immigrants did. They were trashing hotels. They were partying every night. Like all this shit. Like these are like just grown ass single men who were doing all this shit in the hotels and we were paying for it. These are like hotels that were like right downtown manhattan in really expensive neighborhoods i think when these hotels were on the market they were going for like 250 dollars a night or something and they were getting it for free or didn't that, those buses or something go to the hamptons or they went somewhere expensive remember where like obama was vacationing when they dropped the immigrant bus off but whatever not the point and then what's happening in san francisco has actually also been a really big uh t talk of concern like the shit that's happening like I, I saw a video today or i didn't watch the whole thing but it was like a little clip that's like um a homeless van just chase chase me around san francisco and like i i've literally recorded like the I, I when i was in the bay area i had like six stalkers i don't know what it is about there's like a there's like groups of just 
weirdos like uh, people have these like cults and shit in california that are like the cults don't really i don't actually understand all of them because i'm not a part i've never been a part of like any cults i'm just just a, a a girl in the world right i just like to eat my food and like go basically talk about being a girl in the world pop songs or not even pop songs alt songs Haley williams songs paramore songs okay and just think about thinking, think about shit that's happened in my own life. Um, I don't know. And other people seemed way bothered by that. So, yeah, I would just be, like, sitting at the garden. People would just start showing up, like, watching me. There was that one weird Chinese girl who followed me to, like, seven cafes. All the strange black guys. Like, there were just so many things that were weird. And then there was literally the white crackhead who actually, like, chased me down around the campus that's a whole other situation and it, like now I, I think when I was saying it at the time I think other people were just laughing and thinking that I was like exaggerating <laughs> and now it's like every week I see a new video like all the businesses in San Francisco have basically shut down Nordstrom's is closed everywhere on Market Street is like closed down like Twitter I think is moving its office they're like closing the San Francisco office. Like it's really, really bad right now in the Bay Area. Maybe not for everyone because I do see there still seems to be like a small sector of tech people who are living it up. It's great. It's not like everyone and everything is not shut down, but quite a lot is. Um, okay, so so what everyone over here is like watching that happen and thinking like why the fuck isn't anybody doing anything about this this is like insane this is actually insane like you can't live like this like somebody needs to change it somebody has to do something about it and nothing is being done about it and so Jason Aldean making this one song that's like we're not going to tolerate you stealing from stores or killing grandmothers try that shit in a small town and see if you make it home Right, because like if you try that shit in somewhere like here, people will probably murder you. Like legitimately, like people carry guns around here. That's real, and but like nobody's gonna like use a gun unless it's like necessary to do so. And that's real, and that's actually one of the things I greatly appreciate about being out here. Like I, I like that. Um. I think it really, it teaches people how to behave, right? Like, but I think that there's just too much, like out here there's just, or in, in California, there is no, um, how do you say, there's no bar, there's no law that's being like actually implemented. And so the criminality and the like homelessness, the poverty, the there's like so much shit that is going completely unchecked and uh i don't know it's it's weird it's weird as fuck it's weird like it's it's beyond a point of society like it, it they're behaving like not like a non society and it's fucking strange it's it's strange it's strange it's weird to watch i don't know um it's weird I don't know.